Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video here at Empty Paradise. So today's video, I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff with the Lexus. A lot of like symbol maintenance stuff. I'm actually going to be pulling off these side skirts as well. We're going to install some new side skirts coming up. So that'll be a separate video on its own. I did do an installation video on these ones. Like I said, I'm going to pull those off, put nicer ones on. I do have uh, installation videos on like the front splitter, rear spats, rear diffuser, all that kind of good stuff. But also I'm going to be doing an oil change. I'm going to have an oil change uh, video coming soon to you guys so definitely go check those out there will be a playlist with like all my lexus stuff but like i said today's video i'm just going to be doing like a lot of simple maintenance just kind of getting stuff taken care of like i need to do an oil change on this i need to do it for a little while now so i'm just going to go ahead and knock that out i'm going to film separate videos for all the how to's so definitely if you guys want to see those go check them out there will be a playlist on my channel just for the lexus 3is maintenance stuff and other how to's but like I said, I'm going to be pulling off these side skirts that are already on here. Uh, these are actually kind of like cheaper ones to put on. They are just kind of like a generic rectangle. They're not really like made to fit the car. Uh, you can see there's like a three piece. There's a seam right there. There's another seam right there. And then this back piece, you can see it's kind of a little bit wavy. It's not really like the greatest. It's not perfectly flush. Those are like legitimate kind of high end ones. The new ones are going to match that style of like the rear spats. So the little fin right here is going to be quite a bit different and it'll actually, I think, kind of come out a little bit and kind of go with the body lines. Uh, this one was a kind of cut to fit. So I was able to take a little hacksaw and pretty much cut it off right here. Um, it is super nice and convenient. And I will say that this turned out to be a pretty legit side skirt, but there's one major flaw. I don't know if you can see it right there. Faint little triangle in the orange part. And that points out where your jack point is. However, <laughs> it would be somewhere underneath this side skirt. So this does completely block my jack point and that's why I'm gonna be pulling it off, put on a different one. Uh, also ignore how filthy my car is. I have not washed it in a while. This is my daily driver. So it gets pretty dirty, especially around the front wheel area. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this off. Like I said, this right here is where the jack point should be, somewhere up behind that. So in order to do the oil change, I do need to take these off. And then this would be a great time to go ahead and put the new ones on. And since I use a 3M VHB tape, this process is probably going to be pretty interesting. Um, yeah, I have like a little tool I can like kind of floss, get back behind there and be able to get all that tape off. I did screw it on as well. So this will be kind of a fun process. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so now they have the side screws completely off. I'll be able to access the jack point and be able to raise up the front of the car. Uh, but first I'm gonna need to obviously pop the hood. But like I said, ignore how dirty the car is. I daily drive this thing and it's filthy. But look at all that beautiful carbon fiber. This entire piece is carbon fiber. Got, that's carbon fiber, carbon, carbon, even that little tiny cover right there. So yeah, this thing looks absolutely amazing. But it is time for an oil change. And yeah, like I said, it's going to be another video. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip to the end of this. All right, guys. So we did just get done with doing the oil change. And everything went smooth. And if you check out that video of the oil change, whenever it does come out, you'll see that the dealership actually tightened the oil filter housing drain plug so tight. I actually had to use an impact driver just to be able to pop that off. It was super ridiculous, super annoying but I'm glad I got everything taken care of. Oil change is done. Now I'm about to just take the car out, go for a quick little drive, see how everything is. And then I'm gonna come back in and work on the side skirts. I would go ahead and do those now, but once I put those on, I want that 3M VHB tape to really set on and sit for a while before I actually drive it and take it out and about. This is gonna look kind of funny, but with the front splitter, the rear spats and stuff without side skirts, but it'll be fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and like I said, take this thing out for a quick little drive, make sure that everything was good to go with the oil change, and then you can come back in and work on the side skirts. And you can see like a difference of the before and after. So they are the exact same length, but these obviously are just plain rectangles. And then these ones are actually shaped a little bit to really fit onto the car. There's like this little lip that kind of comes up, which you can kind of see right there. 
So it's actually made specifically for this exact car. So these are actually legit where those are just generic. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. If you are local to San Antonio and you do want these, these are like 86 inches long or 86 and a half, I think. So if you guys want these, let me know. They're gloss black and they're just kind of like a universal. So yeah, hit me up. All right, guys. So like the day before yesterday, my channel hit 3000 views. So I want to say thank you to every single person who's gone down and hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, definitely hit the like button and subscribe. My channel just hit 3,500 and yeah, it's been like two days. And if everything keeps up, I could possibly hit 4,000 by the end of the week, which is in a few days. So I really hope that happens. This is absolutely mind blowing. It took me about, I think it was like almost four years to hit 1,000 subscribers. And it took me like a whole nother year with like uploading every single week, constantly working my butt off. And then from 2,000 to 3,000, it took about six months as doing all kinds of crazy content and like I said, consistent uploads. And then started doing shorts like every single day. And now my channel hit 3,000 recently and is about to hit 4,000. And that last thousand jump could it be like within one week. And put down in the comments down below if you guys like this golf livery I have on it. Like I have the golf logo right here, obviously. I have the stripes going down the side, the stripes going up the hood. The Orange Apex Vinyl Solutions LLC, which is my rap company, by the way. And then it kind of blends all together where the stripes come down and then they kind of curve and then go around. But let me know in the comments down below if you guys like this wrap because I might be redoing it soon. But I'm going to go ahead and put these on. I'm just going to go ahead and clean up the side skirts uh, with alcohol and everything. There's a little bit of 3M tape still left over from the old side skirts. So I'm going to go ahead and get that all cleaned up and go ahead and slap on these new ones and this car is going to look absolutely amazing all right so I just got the side skirts done and they look absolutely amazing now i got the whole front splitter that matches the side skirts and that goes all the way into the rear spats and then we got the rear diffuser back there but like especially that right there looks so good with the new side skirts and the way they just kind of stick out a little bit and they're kind of like made to actually go with the body Whereas my old ones were just like those generic, just kind of rectangles. These ones are actually curved to fit the Lexus 3IS and they look so good, like just absolutely amazing. And like I said, they match perfectly with the spats back there, but I just absolutely love these so far. And once I get the new wrap, they're gonna look absolutely amazing. So yeah, at some point I'm gonna have to replace this uh, front splitter which I'm probably gonna do that whenever I uh, do rewrap the entire car because all of this trim is gonna have to come off. Yes, I just put these on even though I'm about to wrap the car, but that might be in like maybe like a month or two. So I just wanted to go ahead and get these on and enjoy them. And it's kind of hard to see them, I think on camera just because of the shadow is so dark, but they look absolutely amazing. But if you didn't already know, that's why I want to uh, right there replace that because it's cracked. It was super cheap, it was on Amazon. I'm gonna have a link in the description down below for all this stuff. So if you guys have a Lexus 3IS and you wanna pick these things up, definitely click that link down in the description down below because these look incredible. But even if you guys aren't purchasing anything that I've suggested in this video, if you guys are gonna buy anything from Amazon, please do me a favor, go to one of my videos, go down to the description, click on any one of my links. They'll take you to Amazon to that product but if you don't buy the product and you just buy anything else, I can still get a kickback for that, which I can then put into modifying my Lexus, making more crazy awesome videos. And that really helps me out. It costs you guys nothing but like maybe five, 10 seconds worth of time. So please, if you guys are gonna buy anything on Amazon, click on one of my links and then immediately go and buy whatever you're gonna buy. And I can actually get a kickback. Like I said, cost you nothing, helps me out significantly. And I can keep making all these awesome videos. And who knows, maybe some crazy awesome stuff to come. All right, so I am gonna go ahead and wrap up this video right here because I do have to go in, I have to sit and edit. I'm probably gonna spend the next like four-ish maybe hours editing. Hopefully not so long, but that's about what it takes sometimes. But if you guys like this video, definitely go down, hit that like button down below. This is kind of like a non-traditional, just kind of vlog. I'm just kind of, this is my day. But if you guys wanna see more videos like this, let me know in the description down below. But like, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching.